Originally, I was using the Extreme firmware on my Flipper Zero, but it turns out Extreme firmware is not supported anymore, so I had to move to the Momentum. And in case of the Momentum, it's very, very easy. Pick up your Flipper Zero and connect it to the computer. And once it's connected, you should navigate to the website and search for Flipper Zero Momentum. The very first page would be Momentum Firmware Dev. You click that, and then here you're gonna click Install and wait. If everything is correctly connected, your Flipper Zero will be recognized by the website and you're just gonna click Flash, just like that, and wait. And after several minutes, let's see how it looks like from the inside. Okay, so this is how it looks like, the default menu. You have pretty much the same application, almost. But I'm gonna click up, then I'll go right on the momentum icon and I'll change the interface to the same as I used to have on the custom figure extreme. I'm gonna go into graphic, no, not graphic, main menu and menu style. That would be, I think it was V. I think it was this one. Yep, that's the one. I love this menu. It's so intuitive. It's so easy to use. And yeah, this is it. This is how you put the custom firmware momentum on your Flipper Zero. Now, on this custom firmware, you have lots of applications that was not on the original firmware. And you can add more applications, of course, from the GitHub of the momentum. I'll put the links below. I'll make more videos about how to clone tags and things like that. And how to use the evil portal even. Why not? Or bad USB. Subscribe if you want to watch more.